players. Lepre just about an hour down the road from here in the West Midlands. Lepre in Herefordshire, of course, where right in the heart of Birmingham, very close to the uh, Broad Street area of town. And it is party time in town tonight with the Premier League darts. And Terry Jenkins, who our colleague Rod Harrington is tipping for a bright second half for the league campaign. And remember, he knows what it's all about. Runner-up in the Premier League in 2007. Yes, and of course, uh, Terry Jenkins coming into the arena to the signs of Sam the Sham, really bullying. Just in case you're wondering where you've heard that before, apart from on these transmissions, it's on the sign track of the Stanley Kubrick Vietnamese War Classic Full Metal Jacket, which has been on Sky Movies just recently. Glasson has been scoring well throughout the Premier League, but his doubles have let him down. And... Uh, it's been a baptism, baptism of fire when it comes to Premier League darts for the Dutchman class and one of the fastest players in the world, week in and week out. Uh, but so far, the Premier League has been 16. a step too far for him. Just desperately needs that first win. Hasn't really been outclassed. We'll just watch this 180 or 135. 135, just taking a deflection there. Klassen hasn't really been outclassed. He's put in some pretty steady performances. Six matches uh, against Marl, four against King, six against Wade. He's had two big checkouts, 170 and 158. But he just is lacking that little bit extra in this, the elite class, the cream of world darts. Bullseye needs, Klassen went for it there, and now a chance for Jenkins with the throw, first leg of the match here, a big, big match for both players, if they are to have this second half of the campaign to lead to Wembley in May, double eight for Klassen to break the throw, he's been scoring well, but needs the double and gets it, Klassen... First blood to the Dutchman against the throw. That'll boost his confidence no end. And now he's throwing for 2-0. Yes, an encouragement start for Klassen. A reminder that uh, it's the first to win eight legs and you can draw it seven apiece. So this is pretty much a sprint discipline in big-time darts. And Klassen, who, as we were saying, just hasn't been able to find that little bit of extra to really find success at this level. Look at this crowd here, here at the National Indoor Arena, where, of course, they used to sh shoot gladiators, and they, in fact, have staged the Eurovision Song Contest here. Well, the gladiators are ready tonight. Former home of the old Birmingham Bullets basketball team as well, but there's giants of darts up there on stage tonight. And Jenkins looking to bounce back here in this second leg of the game. Started the campaign three straight draws, as you mentioned, Dave. It was an unprecedented start to the campaign for Jenkins. And uh, really desperate for victory tonight, going into the second half of the uh, Premier League campaign. Week 8 tonight in Birmingham, 14 weeks in total, leading up to Wembley in May. Klassen with a chance to go further ahead here. Double top for two zip. 60. Terry Rick 122. Will he be punished for that now? It's a tall order, a 1 2 2, but he got that 10 check out last week. Double seven in each for a 1 2 2. That would have been spectacular. Now, Klassen for 2 0. Oh, yes. And that's a handsome finish. And uh, Jenkins, who had a real go at a finish. Finds himself at the wrong end of a two-love scoreline, and this is looking good for the young Dutchman. 83. But, but, Jenkins was 4-1 down against Mervyn King last week, 59. remember? So he knows what it's all about in terms of bouncing back, but it is a great start for the young Dutchman, Jelle Klassen. And one, one of the most popular players on the circuit, Terry Jenkins, but Klassen here... A very, very valuable addition to the Premier League, I would suggest, no despite idea. his lack of form. He is uh, a glittering character, a popular character, 
and this Premier League this season has been a fascinating contest so far. Jenkins, of course, from Ledbury, 21 Grand Unicorn, made his debut in Big Time Darts back in 2003. But he's been in some major finals, and uh, he's yet to really take a major title. He's, he's been the nearly man in many ways, Nigel. Certainly has, but uh, it was 2007, really, where he emerged into the top echelon of the game, if you like. But you're quite right, he just wants that that one big title, doesn't he? And there's not many people would argue against that, because he is such a popular character. The ball. 90. 136 to finish to open his account this evening within his grasp. Now a single 16. And if Klassen could hit this 1 4 2, it would open up all kinds of possibilities for him. 62. Well, an important visit to the board for Jenkins. Tops he needs. And it's the width of the wire. And finally he gets there, that is vital, absolutely vital, he's up and running. And a, a huge sigh of relief from Terry Jenkins. Yes, I think he thought that might just have slipped away and would have let Klassen in for three love and even a player of Jenkins' potential and ability. Might have found that just a little bit of a bother to haul in. What happened here? Mm. The incoming dart just picked up its bedfellows and lost its energy. 43. Clatton does get criticised for the speed with which he throws. This man, a very cool, calm and collected customer, of course, but Clatton uh, does get criticism from time to time with the, the speed with which he throws. Sometimes the experts suggest it might be better if he just slowed down a little bit. But if, he, if he's happy with that pace, uh, Nigel, that's his deal, isn't it? Absolutely. 35. I've seen quicker throwers. Paul Gosling, I think, was quicker. And Mickey Norris, former News of the World champion, very quick. 125. I think uh, Vincent van der Voel's slightly Absolutely. quicker as well. Yep. 100. Oh, this would hurt if he could hit this one five six just out of range now. 60. See, that's been the difference with Klassen at this level. Should have got a treble there, should have left a finish, should have left a double. He's left a finish, but uh, 150. He's gonna have to get 96. the treble with the first start to leave the double. Pressure's on him. Pressure is on him big time. And this, this leg has turned around in these last two throws. Jenkins now on double nine. A man of great character, Terry Jenkins. It was looking good for Klassen at 2-0. But we did fire the warning, didn't we? That Jenkins hit back last week against Mervyn King. He's hit back tonight as well. And now he has the throw to try and take the lead for the first time in the match. Klassen must be wondering... Just what he's got to do. He was on 156, remember, in that last leg. He looked the favourite, but missed the treble. And uh, Jenkins, such a competent all-round performer. 100. Sneaked up on the blind side. Two apiece now. And after that uh, heartening opening, Klassen now suddenly finds himself back on level terms. Vital stage of the league campaign. Class and rooted to the foot of the table. This man, though, within a sniff of the top four. As we see the ball's delivery to a piece. Game nicely poised. And as we say, Klassen's throw, much talked about. A lot of room there. Should be the maximum. Yes. An eighth of an inch too high, and the crowd here piling in to the National Indoor well, Arena, well you. over 5,000. Just look at these 76. pictures of this support that Big Time Darts is attracting. 
Uh, single 14, 54 now going. 